Ladies and gentlemen, your final team from Rostov on Dov, Legion! Is Masqui Fight Night! Ladies and gentlemen, your final team to the ring from Moscow, Fight Night! Команда Fight Night. Пока сердце бьется, только вперед! Капитан Дмитрий Давыдов. Итак, первый номер Иса Магомедов. Второй Андрей Хлыновский. Третий Султан Капизов. И четвертый Сослан Аспаров.
Ladies and gentlemen, your team from Rostov on Don, legend. Your first fighter, Isa Magomedov. Your second fighter, Andre Klinovsky. Your third fighter, Sultan Kapizov. And your final fighter, Solan Azbarov. Справа от меня команда Фагна из Москва. Ведомые капитаном Владимиром Васильевым и Сергеем Янковским. Первый номер Евгений Никитин. Второй Михаил Дорошенко. Третий Вячеслав Папкин. И четвертый Ян Дезягев. Ladies and gentlemen, your fighters from Moscow fight nights. Your first fighter, Evgeny Nikitin. Your second fighter, Mikhail Doroshenko. Your third fighter, Vajislav Babkin. And your final fighter, Ian Belayev. Idak Ligion против Fight Nights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thermopylae team combat, and this is our... Внимательно, правила помним, не нарушаем, касается всех. Работа в клинче запрещена. Внимательно. Готовы? Oh, he covers up well. Nice turn on the rope, though. Southpaw versus Orthodox here. Oh, left hook! That got him! He went weak at the knees, Ian. Yeah, that rocked him there. Nice big left hook. And again. Can't take much more of those. He needs to move out the way. Then again with a clinch. It's tough to turn on those ropes. So, the, it's such a long rope, it's going to be loose in the middle. So they need to stay in the middle of the area. Oh, right hand! That caught him. How is he still standing from that? He walked onto that one, but he's took it well. He's done a spin and back fist, nearly caught him with the elbow, which would have been illegal. There is no elbows. Well, Nikitin showed us he's got a good chin already, but how many can he take? Again, he takes a big right hand. Liver kick also to follow. Nice cheap, keeps him away beautifully. There's that right hand again. Nikitin is backing off a little bit, Ian. Yeah, Magomedov just looking the stronger of the two, very sturdy on his legs, backing up Nikitin. A little bit more of a measured pace than what we've seen all night. But they do have five minutes, there's that right hand down the middle again. Yeah, I mean, it's tempting to start fast, but I think it could be better to try and maybe pace yourself a little bit. Again with that spinning back fist, and again with the right hand. Well, Nikitin covering it well because he has to. He's been hit with the right, he's been hit with the left. Both have caused damage. By his back with a nice left hand of his own, though, Nikitin. Yeah, definitely more success there in the southpaw stance from Nikitin than he's had earlier. Staying southpaw there. Oh, right hand over the top. Well, that's the key, the back leg is the key. Throw power with the back leg to the inside kick. Well, he's managed to back Magomedov there earlier, but he's coming back forwards. Well, Southpaw versus Orthodox, it's always the back leg that's gonna throw with power. Nikitin points at himself if he's to say, come on, I'm here, I'm ready for you. But he has took some punches. Yeah, Magomed looks tired now. Maybe thrown a lot into those big shots. You said earlier, you know, the heavier shots, tensing up for heavy shots can take it out of you, and it has done. If this was just a normal kickboxing bout, it would be equally matched. But obviously, when it's a team challenge, nobody knows who's going to go against who. But what a well-matched fight this is. Oh, spinning back fist. That's the third time he's used it already. Oh. So the kick's working better for Nikitin, but the punch is working better for Magomedov. Oh, right and hand! That was a good liver kick for Molodov. Yeah, Magomedov followed up his beautiful punches there. 
with the shots of Livy through the punch in there to the liver. Definitely a great technique for working the damage on someone who's got to carry on a long time. Damaging well, that liver. One minute left to go. The eye is closing of Magomedov. Nice teep to the face. Well, this could be one of the very few fights that have gone the distance. They have 50 seconds left. Well, it's, it's that counter right hook from the southpaw stance that's working from the key tin, and that's what's swelled up the eye of Magomedov. The thing is, do they do the tactic of staying on and wearing down their opponents? Or do they change tactics and go for a fresh partner? I think a fresh partner, if you're thinking of fighting in the semi-final, then the final would be a good idea. It's a yellow card from Nikita. Magomedov straight to the body again. We've definitely seen a lot of work to the body and from both, from every team we've seen tonight. That's one thing I've noticed, there was a lot of body shots, a lot of punches, a lot of kicks. This is something obviously the Russians like to favour. There we go with the kicks to the body, that was a nice shot to the liver. You've got to think if it's a tactic that's been discussed as well, with, with just with these, these rule set. Well, a five minute round. We go to the judges' scorecards to see who's won. So it looks like Magomedov staying in. Is he going to stay? Oh, oh, they did swap around who was coming out then. So here we go. Fight Knights have got their new. Well, we believe it's Doroshenko. There was a little bit of conversation. One person came forward, then the other. Maybe they didn't know who was the second fighter. But let's fingers crossed because we don't know these fighters personally, but we do have the names down. The second fighter, Doroshenko. Yeah, I don't know whether they swapped for Babkin because they'll look like they're having a discussion. But either way, we've got what well, we think is Doroshenko. Nice kick again, strong, powerful. There's a low calf kick. Doroshenko, obviously the fresher of the two. Is he going to use that to his advantage, start to work? You can see the power in his upper body of Doroshenko. The traps on him, look at the muscle. Yeah, very heavily muscled. The thing is, will that slow his punches down or will it create power? We're about to find out. You're going to wonder exactly the workers, yeah, as the time goes on, five, ten minutes on. Will he start to cramp? Will he start to build up lactic acid? Well, Magomedov again, a nice, complacent style, nice and loose. Not burning up any energy, but look at the power. Daroshenko is throwing. Nice low kick. Yeah, thankfully for Magomedov, nothing's landed clean yet, but they are big shots swinging in. Well, not allowed to grab the leg, I think it was instinct. As we know, all night we've seen it happen. Grabbing the leg, tie clinch. All the instincts have to be taken out of the game. And it's a new format for everybody. But it's sure to be all action as Magomedov carries on. Working the low kicks. He's using that reach to his advantage. Punching right on the outside, soon as he's hit, he moves backwards. One of the good things about Thermopylae is that you can't get cornered. Once you get up against the ropes, you still have to give them that little bit of breathing distance. Otherwise, you'll be warned by the referee and possibly given a yellow card for clinching. Yeah, as we said earlier, there's just nowhere to hide. It is all action. Magomedov seems to have got his win back. He looked a little tired at the end of the first. He's won that and he's come back. He looks good, he looks composed again now. Well, it's the pace, the pace of this fight again. It's just a little bit slower than what we see tonight. Nice body shot with an overhand left hook. The only thing I fear is the winner of this team, whichever team it may be, we've seen some of the teams earlier, they go all out. Punches, kicks, and they go out with full force and fury. Will Magomedov, oh, Daroshenko be able to take that kind of style because they are the score type of kickboxer. 
Yeah, and these are going to be long draining fights where some of the other teams have had some quick wins tonight yes. and they're going back fresh. Exactly. Early stoppages. Uh, and I think as the night wears on, we might find that the early stoppages is, is the good way to go. For yeah, well, that's going to favour them, isn't it? Because obviously they've only had a few minutes in the in the ring. Where these guys, well, especially Magomedov, is now gone in a second. Well, he's gone nine and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes, coming up to nine. Yeah, but he's still very strong at the moment. And there is two spares for each team they can use. Yeah, the, uh, there is alternatives, yeah. Which, uh, Oh, right hand! That caught him flush, that right hand. Yeah, big shots coming in there from Donashenko. Oh, and again! Magomedov being told off for grabbing the hands. Yeah, he's like a stocky, well-built tank, firing in the bombs there. Well, you credit to Magomedov, he's still standing. Nice low kick. Oh, that hurt him. He took a big deep breath there. He did, that body kick. He took a big deep breath. Oh, that was a bit low. Not allowed to clinch. Yellow card for clinching. Well, you saw it there, Ian. It was that body kick seemed to just give him that half a step back. He needed to take that breath. Well, we're down to 30 seconds of this. The second fighter in. Surely, if Magomedov does win this, he's going to want to have a sit out after this. Yeah, you would think the tactic would tell him to go out. Doroshenko still swinging for the fences, looping overhands. Whereas the sharper, more organised work has come from Magomedov. And there we have it. Two rounds, who will stay in, who will go out? And he has Magomedov asked to leave. It was very close that year, and I think they both landed a lot of shots. Yeah, Shudarashenko stays in, and we get a new opponent, Lenovsky. Lenovsky, tall. Light on his front foot, lifting the front foot of the tie style. Oh, there's the power coming in, though. Varashenko, he may have done five rounds, sorry, five minutes, but he's still got power. You can see the way he's built. But normally, when you're built like that, you can actually burn yourself out with lactic acid. Well, he'll have built some confidence there just by putting a guy away. You know, coming out, you've already beat one man. You feel strong, you feel good. That was some body shot. He's got to carry on. Oh, again he goes for the body. Yeah, sharp shots down with this onslaught. Klinovsky can smell the blood. He's covering up to the body there. They heard that at the back of the arena, Ian. Well, this is turning out to be a great final team matchup. Three fighters each. Nice double jab with the left hand. Klonovsky smelt bloody nose. Oh, oh, he's gone! That's it. He has to get straight back up. What a tough guy. Dalashenko goes down, but as quick as he went down, he gets back up. Drop to the body, drop to the head. And klonovsky has got to be building confidence here now. Well, he's just going to slowly pick his shots. Where's he going to cover up now, Ian? He needs to cover up the head and body. His arms aren't big enough. That's the thing. And for those watching at home, Dereshenko cannot swap teammates until the five minutes is over or he beats his opponent. Oh, that looked like last big oh! swings. It could be the end. Oh, what a tough yes. guy. What a tough guy. Dereshenko wants to go on. He does not want to quit. Well, what you have to remember, Ian, is you're doing this for your team, not just for yourself. Yeah, he needs to tie him out for the next man, put as much in as he possibly can, grit those teeth. And that's what he's doing, he's biting down on that gum shield, biting down on that mouth guard, and he is swinging for it. 
just misses with the left hook. There's Klinovsky. Great heart again from Donoshenko, but it looks like he's fighting the dying. Oh, he's still got punches <laughs> left. Just as I say it. Well, a nice kick to the liver as well from Klinovsky. Again, he's working that body. Yeah. Is he straight up? The crowd are loving this, they're loving the show of heart. This Russian crowd. There's only so many times you can go down though, he's now covering up. Oh, big right hand. Big deep breath as well though. Working the body himself. Yeah, he's digging deep, throwing single shots, but they are big single shots. Oh, did you see that it's knee? <laughs> that just went over the top of the head. <laughs> it's a risky move to duck under a knee. Great showing of heart here, but Klinovsky's got to be seeing the end, oh, and he has, again, it's has got to, that, that's got to be the end, that body shot. Yeah, and it's it, that's over, it's over, now we go to Babkin. Big round of applause for Donoshenko though there, he took some really serious solid shots. Babkin versus Klinovsky. We're now down to three to two. Very, very close team matchup. Is Babkin going to start fast? Again, that back leg for both of these guys is a good weapon. No, oh, nice right hand. By it back with the knee, Klinovsky. Covering up well from the hands, coming back with the knee. They could do with trying to get those hands working as well. Yeah, Babkin start off a little bit slow. Oh! Got tagged but fired back with a body kick. Oh, oh, oh! You could see the knee cock ready to fire, but he had a hold of the head which would have been illegal. Nice knee to the body by Babkin. Babkin start to warm into this now. So that's the other thing as well. They might be coming out fresh, but it could be a little bit cold. Maybe just have to warm into it. Well, you can see the fighters. Well, from my advantage point, you can. You can see the fighters who are not fighting. They're slapping themselves on the thighs. They're hitting themselves on the arms and the shoulder. They're trying to stay warm. It's very hard when you're watching a fight for 15 minutes. Klinovsky still working at a tremendous pace. Back and fire, back. Take every advantage you can. Yeah, when the boat's in action, you know, you're not allowed to get a piece of water. You're not even allowed to get corner man advice. But here we go. Nice jump in knee, that was good. But followed by a nice left hand. Yeah, good straight left hand again. Maybe that drink of water give you a little boost. Stop, stop. So there, imagine that. Babkin takes a big deep breath. The pace they fought, and there's still two minutes left of this round, Ian. Oh, right hand by Babkin. 
Pushes whoa, him against whoa, the rope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, good shot. That's better. Nice kickboxing there. Great left hand. Stop. Stop. Bamkin needs to start to work some shots in now. Let Klinovsky take over. Well, there's a lot of clinching happening. I'm not surprised if the referee gives it to Very, very close fight this one. I think, from what I've seen, Klinovsky just, just pipped it for me with that nice jab in the left hand. Yeah, beautiful leg kick as you were saying that, Ian. Start to work those legs there. So we think Klinovsky, but it was close. Yep, so it was Klonovsky who won, but they've swapped anyway. So Bab Sultan Gap is off. Sultan Gap is off for Legion. And big, tall guy, isn't he? Gap is off. Look at that tie stance, tipping on the yeah. toes. That's what a Thai boxer does. And especially, you know, the tall, that's tall, perfect sort of build for the Thai. Belayev has to get past that long reach. But that tapping style, can that rhythm work in this sort of an event? I think it can, I think it can, just for the fact that because there's no, no room to manoeuvre, Thai boxers are kind of in your face. So I think it's a good style for this kind of matchup. Oh, right hand! And a low blow. Well, the score is now two to one. Oh, that was a nice turning kick. Soslan Asparov itching to get out himself. He may not have to. Well, at the moment, his gap is off. Using that height, using that reach. Valiev having to close the distance, land his own shots. Gabrizov is just waiting until he gets steps in. There you go. Oh, again with the right hand. But the power from Belayev. Nice low kick. That was strong. His knee popped the other way. Yes, yeah, a nice little half step back he takes as well. Gabrizov before he throws the shot. That was busier work though for Belayev. Not so light on his toes now, albeit one and a half minutes are gone. But this is a long, hard pace for five minutes. Not many fighters can go at this kind of pace for five minutes. Belayev threw a right hand, but got caught with the left hook on the way in. It's a tough fight, five minutes for Belayev having to get in on that height. He's got to keep working, he's got to keep that head moving, he's fired his shots in. I'd like to see him work the body as well because of the height difference. Yeah, the legs and the body, they're all there to be hit. There you go. Oh! 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 <laughs> he is done and out! What a oh shot! Oh my word! Well... He, so was, he was down and out! Well, We're down to the final two fighters. Wouldn't this be a comeback if Belayev can win this last bout? Well, Asbunov was itching to get now, and now he's got his dream. He is going now against Belayev. That was a knockout of the night. Will he be so keen to go out after seeing that happen to his teammate? Well, he has to. He's got no choice. But Belayev will be on a high right now. And if he takes this... 
Well, the first time tonight we've gone down to the final two fighters. Yeah, it's all riding on these two now. Both guys got the weight of their clubs on the shoulders. Asbarov, yet to throw a punch. Like you said, oh, there you go with the jab. He will be tentative. He's just watched his teammate get knocked out in no. Oh, both guys are swinging. This might not last long. Oh, Belayev got tagged. Belayev got tagged big and hard. Asparov really determined here to get one back. Well, the winner of this bout goes through to the semi-final. Again, a groin shot. Well, we've seen a few of those tonight, mate. We have. Let's hope they keep the pace up here now. Well, there's a lot riding on it, Ian. I don't think they're going to go slow. There's a lot riding on it. It's the final two. The winner goes through to the semi-finals. There's a lot at stake. Oh, big right hand. That's the first minute gone. Look at the action we've had. It's only been one minute. The Lion took some big shots there, mind. Some big shots. Both teams watching on, looking at their guys, wondering if they're going to be going out again. Oh! Oh, big kick going in from Belayev. Left hook. Asbarov fires back. Both guys are landing big shots, throwing and landing big Belayev shots. Belayev is still standing. What on earth? Look at the action. Ian, I don't think my voice is going to hold out for the night. Oh, my word. We're not even on the semi finals yet, Ian. Fantastic work. Nice body kick, redness in the nose as well to Asbarov. Well, that's going to slow him down a little. Throwing those kicks into the body, it's a good plan. Look at the welt on his rib section. Nice flick over there. Giving Belayev something different to think about. Oh! oh! Thundering left hook. That looping. was what you call a looping left hook. And it worked. This is good work, but Belayev's back. Belayev has been hit with that left hook about five times already. And he's coming back, punch for punch. You're going to hear the grunts and groans from Asbarov. Oh! 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 What a chin on Belayev, Ian. What a chin. I've never seen anyone still on their feet after punches like that. This is great where that's a testament to his fitness, his conditioning, the fact he can take shots like that. Well, people don't understand that, Ian. You have to be fit to take a big punch. You're going to have a chin of granite, but to stay standing, you have to be super fit. Oh, look at him. let's go. Let's go, he says. Yeah, that's an awesome conditioning, and he's coming back. Surely, Asbarov's thinking, what do I have to hit him with? The thing is, every time Asbarov's going hard, he is getting tired. He's now telling Belayev, hit me. Oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <laughs> well, we've got about 90 seconds left. These two have given us some fair entertainment to finish the quarterfinals. You know what? I think Belayev could lose this if it goes the distance because of the shots like that that he's taken. Yeah, he's man, what a warrior. Yeah, he's took some shots. He needs to get a finish. And it, 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 there's every chance of him still doing that, Ian. Don't count him out yet, mate. Don't count him out yet. Stop! 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 Belayev's going to have a headache later tonight. I guarantee it. He certainly is. And again, there's a right hand through the middle. I mean, can he come out for another round if he does win this? Well, he will have time to recover after this bout. The last minute now of the oh, quarter. Nice that body shot. That was a good shot. Asparov showing that Rivado taps his chest and comes forward. Every shot has been with power. Both of them still moving. 
fainting. Well, we were wondering whether they put the best fighter in first or last. Here, they have saved the best to last. Yeah, both teams, I think, have done the same thing. This has been an awesome final round for the quarterfinals. Seconds left to go now. Rocking back. Goliath. Both guys really going for it. Goliath wants this so much. He wants it so much. You wouldn't want to see either of these guys not finish on the oh, feet after this. Up. Big shots going in. And it's in. It's over. What a fight. Wow. Победа держала команда и вышла в полуфинал.